You guys, you guys, we got the lineup. We have the lineup, everybody. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> excited to be making this video today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. I love Electric Forest. This will be my third year going and boy, oh boy, oh boy, tickets go on sale this week. I am doing a quick turnaround on this video for you guys because tickets go on sale tomorrow for loyalty. Loyalty sale starts tomorrow. The general on sales on Friday and the lineup came out today. So I'm doing my lineup reaction as well as some last minute things you guys have had questions on or are curious about or if you're freaking out just to calm you down and to help you feel at ease everything is going to be okay <laughs> okay 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 if you are new here you can hit that subscribe button to join the vibe tribe and give this video a thumbs up electric forest is one of my favorite content to talk about but i also do festival vlogs reviews tips tricks what to wear things like that so i hope you do decide to stick around and join the vibe tribe and yeah so let's get into it before we get into the lineup i'll put like a timestamp of when i start talking about the lineup this is gonna be a long ass video but just some general things i did want to talk about when it comes to the on sale and tickets and things like that that i've been getting a lot of questions on so hopefully we can clarify some things before you guys purchase your tickets um, this week. I have had already a couple videos on Electric Forest for next year. I've had a how to prepare for 2020, an Electric Forest ticketing breakdown of all the ticket and wristbands. So be sure to go check those videos out. And if you have any questions, then let me know. Those went into a lot of detail, so hopefully those will help you. And then I also am linking down below a playlist. We have a massive Electric Forest playlist that Ashley Gothier and I started that has a ton of videos covering literally everything about Electric Forest. Like you could binge that and learn so much and see so many different perspectives. And then I'm also linking down my channel specific Electric Forest playlist. So that is all my videos I have on Electric Forest. I travel from Austin, Texas to go to Electric Forest so if you're worried about that I have some videos on that and how I was able to travel to Electric Forest and I was in GA camping how I got my camp gear together all that stuff so that if that's something that you're worried about definitely go check out those videos and if you have any questions let me know I also have an ultimate guide to Electric Forest that is on my website I have a blog called vibewithate.com that's how this all started so those are some resources for you guys so hopefully that helps in your planning so the first thing I'm going to talk about is that tickets do start going on sale tomorrow loyalty sale starts tomorrow so if you have six in the forest loyalty you are purchasing your ticket starting tomorrow at 10 a.m eastern i'll put a little thing here for what those times are if you are not in that time zone hopefully that'll help you guys out if you are purchasing from somewhere else and then after that four in the forest will also go on sale tomorrow so that is people who have four in the forest loyalty status which means they have attended four electric forests or more <laughs> and that will be at 2 p.m eastern and i'll put the times here for what that is in the other time zones as well and then on december 5th we have good life loyalty so that is people who have attended under four times going to electric forest and so they will be starting their ticketing at 10 a.m eastern and then after that is GA loyalty. So that is the same thing as good life unless you were not in good life and you were in GA and you've been under four times to Electric Forest. That is the time I will be purchasing my tickets and that is at 2 p.m. Eastern. So you should have gotten your loyalty code by now. If you haven't and you think something was messed up, just make sure that you registered your wristbands with the same email address every time. There is an email that you can also contact if you believe that there was a mess up or you didn't get your code or anything like that. Oh, another thing, I am so sorry you guys, I said this in a previous video, there was just like a little bit of a miscommunication here. So if you have six in the forest, four in the forest, you are allowed up to two tickets and then if you are in GA loyalty or good life loyalty, it is one ticket. I'm so sorry. I actually DM'd Electric Forest and got the answer for it because the only reason I got thrown off is because I said one in my Instagram story. I did like a question box and someone asked, how many tickets can you buy per loyalty code? And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's just one. 
And then one girl commented and just like threw me off my game. So I'm really sorry if I confused anyone. Electric Forest did send out an email, I think this week, letting you know that you should log into your ticketing account login just to make sure you have your, the same password and that you're able to get logged in and that all your information is up to date. And I will link that down below so you guys have access to that. If you are going to Forest for the first time, you'll probably create an account when you buy your tickets in the general on sale. So you don't have to worry about that if you've never been Electric Forest. This is for my loyalty people. And then for the general on sale, that is going to be on December 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Any that's open to anyone, anyone that's trying to buy tickets, that is the time to buy it. I would recommend being online, ready to go to get those tickets. It sold out in like five hours last year. So I would be prepared, be ready to go. If you can't, get on at that time, maybe have a friend get your ticket. I think it's a max of four tickets. So just be sure to do that. As for the ticketing options, like I said, I did have a whole video breaking down literally every single one. Ashley Gothier and I didn't plan this out, but we might as well have. We're like geniuses, honestly, because she's another Electric Forest content creator, YouTuber. She's amazing. I'm so excited to meet her. So I broke down all the ticketing options in one video. She broke down the ticketing options, but in separate videos and she gives you pros and cons. So if you're worried about like, what's the difference between GA and Maplewoods, because those are both GA options, like what is the difference? And then all the good life options she breaks down. And then today she just came out with the is good life worth it video, as well as what ticket she is buying. So definitely go check her out because like my video is a good view of like, these are all your ticketing options. This is all that's included. And then her videos are like pros and cons. This is what you get. This is the benefit. This is the con, all that stuff. We didn't plan that out, but it worked out really well. I've been pointing everyone to her. So go check her out. Give her some love to fellow forest fam, fellow woman creator. We're here for it. Okay. And then some other things that are going to go on sale after the general ticket on sale. So there'll be shuttle passes, group camping and her forest camping. That sale doesn't happen until January. And the last thing, I'm gonna talk about and then we'll get to this lineup is traveling from another state because I get so many questions about it. I live in Texas and I travel to Electric Forest. I do GA camping and so what you guys can look into is flying to Grand Rapids, flying to Chicago, taking a shuttle, taking a rental car. And what I do for my camping gear is, since I typically fly Southwest, that allows you two free bags. We'll put an order in at Walmart and we'll make a stop at Walmart and pick up any other camping gear. And I do have two packing videos from 2018 and 2019 as well as I have a packing list video somewhere on my channel. It's in the Electric Forest playlist, so just go okay, check that out. Sorry for all that info. I just felt like if someone new was coming to my video and was freaking out, stressed out, needed to get that all covered for you guys so you guys are ready to get tickets and start planning and everything like that. So now we're talking about this lineup. My first bone to pick here, everyone, was how much hate I was seeing on my Twitter timeline. And you know what? I just think a lot of people misunderstand the Electric Forest lineup in general. This isn't like your EDC. This isn't like your Ultra. I don't know what other ones I'm trying to think of, but the thing that's so special about Electric Forest and that's special about going to Electric Forest and the acts on the lineup is it's not all mainstream stuff. Like, yes, we have our headliners and there's a couple that people are very like weirded out about, salty about. But if you look on the middle section, if you look at the undercard, I'm so stoked about it. To prepare for this video, I listened to eat one song from each person on this lineup. Just so I got a full view for you guys, I'm pretty excited about it. This is a very electric forest lineup that excites me and I hope excites you. Electric forest is more than the music and the lineup. It's the experience, it's connecting with people, it's the art. There's so much to it. I was just getting so excited listening to some of these artists and picturing them at the observatory, at Tripoli, at Ranch Arena. I don't know what stages any of these artists are gonna be at, but listening to them, I could just like get that vibe of where they might be. 
and I feel for the 10th anniversary for decade one and everything like this is such a good lineup that is just very characteristic of Electric Forest and what it's all about that was my whole thing about it is that I feel like a lot of people were just expecting this like big lineup to be just like EDC or something and the thing with this lineup is that it is so diverse it's like beyond just EDM basically looking at this lineup you got like your typical dubstep you got your trap you got house music you got techno you got future bass but then you got like folk music you got some rock bands in there we even got some drum and bass i heard some reggae artists you have like really good bands you have amazing vocalists and instrumentalists and just all around talent i'm sorry if you don't like the electric forest lineup i think then you can just stay at home and not expand your mind to some new music. That's what really excites me about Electric Forest lineup every year is just the chance to find a new favorite artist, the chance to fall in love with music again because I love music. I love all kinds of music. I know I go to a lot of EDM type festivals, but I have been a fan of music like all my life. My dad grew me up on like all sorts of stuff. I just am really excited about it. And that's why I like Electric Forest a lot is because I can see other types of artists, not just EDM artists. I can see a lot of my favorite EDM artists, but then I can take a chance to just hang out at Ranch Arena, listen to who's playing then go to the observatory and see a new live act. That's just how I feel about it. And I feel like a lot of people just like don't know that about Electric Forest. So then when they see a lineup like this, they're like, oh, well, this artist is missing. This artist is missing, blah, 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 blah. Like, why is this artist on there? Like, I don't know half the lineup. I'm, I'm not, not going. going. If you're just gonna be that close-minded about it and just close yourself off to an experience like this, then you don't have to go. That's just my whole bone to pick with it. Honestly, the only disappointment I had of an artist not being on this lineup was Grizz. I don't know if he's gonna surprise us, if he's gonna pop out somewhere, but I was very, very surprised that he was not on the lineup and he tweeted about it. He didn't really say that he's like not gonna be there. He just said like, it's gonna be a beautiful time for everyone, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, then why aren't you there? <laughs> So that was my only one that I was kind of like, okay, where is Grizz? Like, where is my boy? Because I love him. I fell in love with him in 2019. He's the best. He's not gonna be there. So that's just my little spiel on that. So let's get into this lineup. As always, I'm gonna put it up next to me. We're just gonna kind of go through it. I took some notes <laughs> here of ones that I'm excited about, ones that I saw people were excited about, ones that I listened through and I was like, I could be down to like check them out, you know, if the timing worked out. Right at the top, the headliners. I also have it on my screen here, so if you're wondering um, why I'm looking, I'm looking at my computer because my phone has been glitching really bad because I dropped it last weekend. So that's that on that. But <laughs> so we have the Strain Cheese Incident, Bass Nectar, Flume, Major Laser, Big Gigantic, Lewis the Child, Diplo, and the Disco Biscuits for your 2020 headliners. I saw someone be like, who's the Strain Cheese Incident? And I was like, you know what? When I was going to Electric Forest for the first time, I thought the same thing. They are not one to miss, honestly. I am hoping for my third forest that I will finally see the Saturday shebang because I've heard so much about it, but on my first year and my second year, there was, a, there was like a conflict. I can't remember who. So I didn't see them. So we're finally making that happen. But basically, they're just like a folk band, jam band, whatever you want to call it. I've heard it's a great time. I've sat in the grass and listened to some of their sets. They're just like really long sets is the thing. So I'm hoping we will make a change and year three, we will get to see it and experience it because I've heard really awesome things. Now we have Bass Nectar, no surprise there. Emma Capotis and Ashley Gothier and I were texting that we will hopefully be together for that because I would love to see Ashley Gothier at a Bass Nectar set. She loves him. I love going to Bass Nectar sets with people that love him because it's just like, I don't know, it's really cool to see someone be so involved and in love and like whatever. So I'm excited to be with her. Hopefully if it works out and everything, get to be with her group and vibe out and whatnot. Flume, 
We all know I love Flume, everyone. He's been a long time favorite of mine. Saw him at Lollapalooza, so I'm excited. I need to not hold this pen. I'm excited to see him at Forest because a lot of people talked about his 2016 set, I think it was, that in that he's coming back. Everyone's very excited for it. Saw him at Lollapalooza and it was great. I'm hoping he'll maybe have some more new music by the time Forest happens, just to see what else he can do in his set and everything and see what he brings to Ranch Arena because he'll probably be at Ranch Arena. Um, and then Major Lazer. So I haven't seen a Major Lazer set since I was was like a rave baby I don't hate it I don't know why so many people hate it but I'm kind of here for it I don't know I'm just like okay let's just see what happens I mean they do put on a go good show I will say big gigantic so I'm excited for big gigantic I have only seen like five minutes of a set so I saw them Coachella 2017 at the Sahara tent and that was when the Sahara tent was facing the sun and like in a really bad position. So like they were had the sun directly on them. So we were trying to get in through the side and it was just like way too packed to see them. But then it was way too hot to stand in the sun to see them. So we missed them. Saw like five minutes. So I'm excited to get a full big gigantic set at Electric Forest. I think that's gonna be super special, super awesome. Maybe they'll bring out Grizz, maybe not. One can dream. Um, and then we have Lewis the Child, which I am really happy to see Lewis the Child in a headliner spot up there. Uh, I've just seen them grow, and I feel like since like the first time I saw them, and I think I'll have seen them 11 times by the time I go to Forest. <laughs> they just are always so good, and it's just a feel-good set, and I just, uh, I love them. And then we have Diplo, and a lot of people are hating that Diplo's a headliner and that like it's both Diplo and Major Lazer and that might have taken like a headliner spot. I honestly don't hate Diplo like he does put on a really good set he is really like inclined musically and I'm gonna get shit for that probably which I don't really care but the thing with Diplo is that I heard he did like an all house set at Izu and you know your girl loves house music. So if he were to do that at Electric Forest, I'd be here for it. And I've also heard his back-to-back -back with MK, which was an all-house set, and that was so fire at All My Friends Festival in California recently. And so that also got me thinking he'll probably have some really good RV sets too because like he plays at Burning Man, like he plays like these underground sets sometimes. So like he could throw a really fire RV set. So that kind of excites me. I just realized I looked into every artist except the Disco Biscuits. So I have to go back to the drawing board on that one, on what that's all about. You guys know me, I typically pick one name on the lineup that I think is like the most ridiculous name and I will go check them out. So I think the Disco Biscuits is gonna be that one for me <laughs> and just be completely surprised because I forgot I didn't check any of them out. And then <clears throat> for this middle area, we have 12th Planet. I saw him on a holy ship for the first time. So he's just absolutely gonna destroy Electric Forest, honestly. Big Wild, Big Wild in the forest. <laughs> I love him. He always puts on a really good show, especially like a live show and everything. So excited about that. I saw a lot of people excited about Black Madonna. She's like techno. Closey, my queen. I first saw Closey at Electric Forest 2018. I'm excited that they're bringing her back. She had like such the perfect vibe at Electric Forest 2018. She played at Tripoli. It was great. Tribal queen, love her. Duke Dumont. You guys, we're gonna be shuffling our booties off to Duke Dumont. I'm so excited. House vibes, we love him. G Jones. G motherfucking Jones, everyone. He just came out with an EP today. I haven't had time to listen to it because I was at work all day and then I had to film this. So I'm gonna go listen to that EP tomorrow. I'll let you know how it is. His visuals, his live sets, his production. <laughs> It's gonna be dope at Electric Forest. I'm excited about that one. I hope they put him at like Sherwood Court. I feel like they would put him at Sherwood Court. Court. Uh, we have the Glitch Mob, who I actually saw in Electric Forest 2018. They put on a really good live show. I highly recommend seeing them. Griffin. I haven't seen Griffin since Decadence 2018. I haven't seen his new album live, so I'm excited to get like a live set and get the new album and everything and see what that's like and see what that's like live. Ugh, all the feels. 
Ew, I just like spit. <laughs> that was gross. Lindsay Sterling is someone that a lot of people are really excited about. I think she played Electric Forest a couple years back and she played at Jubilee, which is like this circus tent stage that gets really packed. And I guess she packed it out and she's like a live violinist. So that could be something cool to check out. That's like one of the special things about Forest is having kind of those instrumentalists and, and people like perform and stuff and getting to watch them. Moon Boots Live. So Moon Boots is like a house artist. He just came out with an album this year and he has like a whole live set production to go with it. So I'm excited to see that live and see what that's like. Cause he was just here in Austin like a couple weeks ago and I didn't get to see him. So I'm excited that I'll get a chance to see that live. Petite Biscuit is someone that a lot of people are excited about. I'm excited about. I haven't seen him since Decadence 2017. So I'm excited to see how his sets have changed. He's, he was only like 17 or 18 when I saw him. So he's definitely grown up since then. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. I saw Rainbow Kitten Surprise at ACL 2017 just on a whim and they were actually really good. So recommend that one. Subtronics is on it. Maybe he'll bring out Grizz. <laughs> Here I am just hoping out Grizz gets brought out by everyone. Hey, 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 hey. But Subtronics killed Forrest last year. I didn't see that set and I regret it. So I'm excited I'll get a redo on that. Chami, we all know I love Chami. We know, we know, we know. Someone was told me, someone was like, there's not a lot of house on here. And I'm like, are you kidding? If you guys want a separate video on like the house artists I recommend to see, let me know on that and I will do that. I did that for EDC Las Vegas 20 this year, I think. So if you guys want to see that, let a girl know. I love talking about house music. You guys know that. We love house. And then we have the undercard. This is where the magic happens, everyone. 5 a.m. I made a note about. He has like this like Grizz type vibe. It was just very funky, very dubby, very kind of like liquidy. I don't know how else to really describe it, but it was like funky. I really liked it. Bleep Bloop. I haven't seen Bleep Bloop in a while, so excited to see him. I can't remember the last time I saw him. I think it was like Beyond Wonderland 20, like 17 or something. Cashmere Cat. I love Cashmere Cat. We saw him at Second Sky earlier this year. Always so good. I just love his like, the sounds of his beats and it's just so pleasant. I hope he's at like Sherwood Court or Tripoli probably. He'll probably be at Tripoli now that I'm thinking about it, but it would be cool to see him at Sherwood Court. Cassian is another good one. He's like deep house, really great house. Death Pact has a couple of songs with Rez. So he has kind of like that Rez dark AC kind of vibe to him. Dixon's Violin, he's always on Electra Forest lineup. Definitely go check him out. He's really sick to see. He always has just like random sets all over the place. That dude's always just playing his violin and it's super cool to check out. DJ Holographic, someone tweeted at me. He's like a funky house type of vibe and I love anything holographic. I know that's his in his name, but like, I love anything holographic, so I'm definitely gonna go check him out. Dombrowski. Another house artist, everyone. Another house artist. Thank you, thank you very much. We are very excited for Dombrowski, our king. <laughs> Elderbrook, I'm excited about Elderbrook. He is like, feel good house, like a Hayden James mixed with like Gorgon City kind of vibe. If you catch my drift, he does have a song with Gorgon City and it's really good. It's called Smile. It's so good. And he has a song with Rudimental that's really good. He's just like feel good, happy, like housey kind of vibes. Really like him. Gioli and Asia. So they're actually like from Italy and they played at Seismic Dance event and I missed them because they were at the same time as someone else that I wanted to see. So I'm hopefully gonna check them out. They put on a really good set, apparently. I've heard a couple of their live sets, so definitely we'll be trying to check that one out. Golf Clap, another house artist. I love Golf Clap. They're gonna be really fun. I saw Golf Clap on an RV last year. They didn't even play the lineup, but they live in Detroit. So they just like came to Electric Forest for like a weekend just to like hang out, which I think is really cool. Haiku Hands, they're like an Australian like group or duo that kind of reminded me of like an Icona pop kind of thing like I don't know what it was but I wrote that one down to maybe go check out because I thought that was cool <laughs> hex cougar has been on my list for a really long time I'm excited he's on here 
I think I saw him at EDC 2017, but like that was so long ago. And I've been really digging his stuff lately that he's come out with. So I think that's awesome. Honeycomb. So Honeycomb is a beatboxer. He's like a resident electric forest person. It was funny last year they had Honeycomb on the Honeycomb stage, which was a new stage addition last year. They got rid of the forest stage and added Honeycomb as a stage. So it was really funny that, that he got to play on that. And then Jason Leach. So if you guys saw this video that Electric Forest posted yesterday, it was of a bunch of people's tweets from like the past about Electric Forest and it had the subtle hints of like who is going to be on the lineup for Electric Forest. And your girl was featured in it. I know, right? Roll the clip. I freaked out and so a lot of you guys messaged me freaking out for me so thank you like I was freaking out for me too that was a big moment for the vibe tribe everyone like it was so special so cool the background music was Jason Leach and I've been following on him on Twitter before because he does a lot of really good renditions on the piano and things like that so I might go check him out because I'm a sucker for people that play piano because I grew up playing piano since first grade up until like college so a while <laughs> I was playing piano so I'm definitely down with that Justin J another house artist he but it's a fantastic voyage set so I have seen a couple of Justin J sets earlier this year and they were not fantastic voyage sets so with fantastic voyage sets they are like live sets with other instruments involved so I'm excited to kind of have a whole band with that Probably will be at Sherwood Court, which would be really exciting. Ellis Dream is another one that a lot of people are excited about. I think he tweeted or someone tweeted that he's gonna be at Tripoli at sunset, which a lot of people were like, fuck, <laughs> that's gonna be dope. So I definitely wanna check him out. I know Ryan really wants to check him out. We also have Lucy. She has been on the come up this year. Honestly, she's been working on a con label. So she has kind of like that spacey bass kind of vibe. I know Ryan and I are definitely wanting to check her out. He did a remix of one of her songs um, and made it acoustic, which was really dope. Max, I miss Max Electric Forest 2018 and I've regretted it ever since. He is a vocalist that is on a lot of songs like Lewis the Child and I'm blanking on other ones. Quinn 92 that he has a song with. So he's on a lot of stuff, but I love his voice. So I'm excited to get a chance to see that. Um, Medusa is like house music, really kind of fun vibe. I'm excited for that one. Um, I saw a lot of Medusa's remixes come up and I really liked those. And then I took a listen to the rest of his or her music and I really liked it. It's also Mute, M-E-U-T-E. And I looked them up and they're like a marching band kind of vibe. Like I remember that they looked familiar because they have a remix of Flume's You and Me, but like the band performance, if you look it up on YouTube, it has 26 million views. Another cool thing to kind of check out, where else would I see a marching band at Electric Forest? Like that would be so cool. I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> Miha, I saw Miha at Dirty Bird Camp Out and it was very like different from what I was expecting. So I'm interested to see what she'll bring to Electric Forest. Mr. Carmack, a lot of people are excited about Mr. Carmack. Mr. Carmack puts on a really good set, like, all, always um, anytime I've seen him so excited about that one Neil Francis Noisia so Noisia has been around and in the game and they just announced that they're breaking up so it's a trio and they're like drum and bass bass type music they're breaking up and 2020 is like their last like kind of go around and so Electric Forest is gonna get one of those last sets. So a lot of people are excited about that. I'm probably gonna go check it out just to kind of like see what it's about because they're not gonna be around anymore. So be cool to kind of be a part of that, um, be a part of one of the final sets. Quiet Bison has like a flume type of vibe. He came up on my Discover Weekly and I really liked it. So if you like the future bassy flume kind of vibe that could be one to go check out rodriguez jr he's like techno tech house i saw him at desert hearts austin earlier this year he was really good roman silver oh roman silver has this one song called fool that is so good go listen to it his music on spotify is kind of like all over the place in terms of like a sub genre 
but he has because like the full song is kind of like a house song and then he has kind of like more of like a bassy song and then he has like a future bassy song so he's kind of all over the place so i'm kind of interested to see what a set is like from him but he's probably just starting out so he's probably like hasn't really found like the subgenre. he doesn't want to be put in a box yet <laughs> rusco so i saw rusco on holy ship this year he is so good like he does not get enough credit the man beat cancer last year and throws the fuck down i will for sure be at that set thank you very much say my name i was so surprised to see say my name on here his sets are fucking wild i have seen some crazy ass things at say my name sets that is all i will say so side piece i had no idea who that was until nitty gritty tweeted that side piece is nitty gritty back-to-back -back party favor and that just blew my mind and then party favor commented like it's all about house or something like house related so it's like a house set and then on spotify they have a song called wanna see you it like casually came out in august of this year and it's so fucking good oh i'm so excited that set is like probably that's like something i that's like a cannot miss honestly for me because like those back-to-backs like stuff like that is very unique slender bodies i really like this one song from slender bodies called anemone and it reminded me of like this glass animals type of vibe and they just seem like really chill and so it'd be really cool to see them maybe at like an observatory stage kind of set or sugarwood court but it was just like a really chill like easy go and listening kind of vibe sudden death presents void so sudden death has been putting on these void sets which is like very unique musical journey experience have you will that he's trying to put on so we get a void set at electric forest and i'm definitely interested to check that one out i've heard a lot of things about it so I definitely have that one on my list to check out. Vanessa, my girl, house, more house music. We love house. <laughs> I've checked her out twice now this year and she is honestly one to watch in the house scene. She is so good and it's such a good high energy set. I really like her, I'm obsessed with her. And with that, you're probably wondering who I am most excited to see out of all of that. So I have narrowed my list down. <laughs> Six hours later. Okay. I think I narrowed it down to my top 10 of the people that I like want to see the most that I would be upset if I didn't get to see, if that makes sense. I am excited for like a lot of artists that I have already seen. So these are the people that I kind of, I've never seen or I might have seen like a long time ago. The other ones that if you notice like how excited I got talking about them, you know that I would be excited to see them if that makes sense. But my top 10 must-sees for Electric Forest 2020 is Big Gigantic, Side Piece, which is Nitty Gritty Back-to-Back -back Party Favor, like we talked about, Elderbrook, Max, X's, Hex Cougar, Moon Boots, Noisia, Big Wild, and Petite Biscuit. Yeah, I think that's my, I think that's what I've, I feel that. I feel good about that one. You know, I feel like the rest of the headliners that I liked are given. Like, I'm definitely going to see Bass Nectar. I'm going to see Flume, Lose the Child. You'll catch me at, like, a lot of the house sets and stuff. And that is it for my lineup reaction video. Man, oh, man. It is 8.42 and I still need to edit this video. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys liked it. If you do have any more questions before the general on sale happens um, on Friday, please do let me know. Like I said, the... Loyalty is actually starting right now, <laughs> probably right when I post this video. So if you do have any questions, please do comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the Little Vibe Tribe. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for 5,000. I just hit 5,000. Oh my God, I can't believe I just hit 5,000. I forgot about that. Ah! You can also find me on Instagram at vibe with aid and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy forest